welcome back to Talk to Me in Tagalog. This lesson is about the difference between the long and short ng which has been requested by one of our subscribers. These two words have the same pronunciation in spoken Filipino. They only differ in the written form and in their use and function in sentences. This is a very important lesson so make sure that you watch this until the end. Let's talk about the short nang first. The short nang is the exact counterpart of the English of. Let's study these examples. Amoy ng bulaklak. Amoy is scent or smell. Bulaklak is flower. So, amoy ng bulaklak translates to scent or smell of flower. Patak ng tubig. Patak is drop. Tubig is water. Patak ng tubig. Drop of water. Mapa ng Pilipinas. Mapa is map and Pilipinas is of course the Philippines. Mapa ng Pilipinas. Map of the Philippines. Isang tasa ng kape. Isa is one, tasa means cup, and kape is coffee. Isang tasa ng kape, a cup of coffee. Presyo ng bilihin. Presyo is price, bilihin is commodities. Presyo ng bilihin, price of commodities. Takip ng bote. Takip is lid or cap, bote is bottle. Takip ng bote, cap of a bottle. Lasa ng balot. Lasa is taste and balut is a street food in the Philippines. Lasa ng balut, taste of balut. Tunog ng kulog. Tunog is sound, kulog is thunder. Tunog ng kulog, sound of thunder. The short nang is also used to describe what something is or what it contains or consists of. For example, puno ng manga. Puno is tree, manga is mango. Puno ng manga. Mango tree. In English, we don't say tree of mango but in Tagalog, it's important to use the short nang between puno and manga. We don't say puno manga just to match the English translation. You will sound strange if you did that. So use the short nang to connect the two words and to define what kind of tree you're describing. Next, we have balat ng itlog. Balat is a skin but in this example, it means shell. Itlog is egg, so balat ng itlog means eggshell. Sakit ng ngipin. Sakit is pain and ngipin is tooth. Sakit ng ngipin, toothache. Kaliskis ng isda. Kaliskis is a scale and isda means fish. Kaliskis ng isda, fish scale. Kulay ng buhok. Kulay is color and buhok means hair. Kulay ng buhok, hair color. Patak ng ulan. Patak is drop and ulan is rain. Patak ng ulan, raindrop. Balahibo ng pusa. Balahibo is fur and pusa means cat. Balahibo ng pusa, cat fur. Sintas ng sapatos. Sintas means lace and sapatos is shoes. Sintas ng sapatos, shoelace. The short nang is also used to show the position of someone or something in a place. Let's study the first example. Sa ilalim ng blank. Sa ilalim means under or below. Sa ilalim ng blank. Under or below of the something. Let's use it in a sentence. Ang mekaniko ay nasa ilalim ng sasakyan. Mekaniko is auto mechanic and sasakyan is vehicle. Ang mekaniko ay nasa ilalim ng sasakyan. The mechanic is under the vehicle. You may use any other subject to replace mechanical or object to replace sasakyan when forming your own sentence. Next, we have sa ibabaw ng blank. Sa ibabaw means above or on top. So, sa ibabaw ng blank means above or on top of something. Ipatong mo ang kahon sa ibabaw ng mesa. The word ipatong means to put something on top or on a surface. Kahon is box and mesa means table. Ipatong mo ang kahon sa ibabaw ng mesa. Put the box on top of the table. 
Next is sa gilid ng blank, which means on the edge of something. May malaking bato sa gilid ng bangin. May means there is, malaki is big, bato is rock, and bangin means cliff. May malaking bato sa gilid ng bangin. There is a big rock on the edge of the cliff. Our next example is sa likod ng blank. Sa likod means behind or at the back of. Sa likod ng blank, at the back of something. Nagtatago ang tuta sa likod ng aparador. Nagtatago is hiding, tuta is puppy, aparador means wardrobe or cabinet. Nagtatago ang tuta sa likod ng aparador. The puppy is hiding at the back of the wardrobe. Next is sa harap ng, meaning in front of something. Umupo si Nena sa harap ng TV. Umupo means sat. Umupo si Nena sa harap ng TV. Nena sat in front of the television. Next, we have sa kanto ng blank, meaning at the corner of something. Magkita tayo sa kanto ng Ferrari at Volkswagen streets. Magkita is to meet, tayo is us, so magkita tayo means let's meet. Magkita tayo sa kanto ng Ferrari at Volkswagen streets. Let's meet at the corner of Ferrari and Volkswagen streets. Next, we have sa paligid ng blank meaning around something. Maraming langgam sa paligid ng paso. Marami means many, langgam is ants, and paso means flower pot. Maraming langgam sa paligid ng paso. There are many ants around the flower pot. The short nang functions like the apostrophe s in English nouns to indicate possession. For example, kotse ng blank. Kotse is car, so kotse ng blank means car of someone or someone's car. Pula ang kotse ng ate ko. Pula is red, ate is sister, and ko means my. Pula ang kotse ng ate ko. The car of my sister is red, or my sister's car is red. Next, we have aso ng blank, meaning someone's dog. Ang cute ng aso ng kapitbahay namin. Kapitbahay means neighbor and namin means our. Ang cute ng aso ng kapitbahay namin. The dog of our neighbor is cute or our neighbor's dog is cute. Next is trabaho ng blank, meaning someone's job. Pagsasaka ang trabaho ng kaibigan niya. Pagsasaka is farming, kaibigan is friend, and niya means his or hers. Pagsasaka ang trabaho ng kaibigan niya. The job of her friend is farming, or her friend's job is farming. Another example is damit ng blank, or someone's dress. Makulay ang damit ng babae. Makulay is colorful, and babae means woman. Makulay ang damit ng babae. The dress of the woman is colorful, or the woman's dress is colorful. The short nang is also used to describe relationships between people. For example, kapatid ng blank. Kapatid means brother or sister, so kapatid ng blank means someone's brother or sister. Si Beth ay kapatid ng amo ng kuya ko. Kapatid is sister, amo is boss, kuya is brother. Si Beth ay kapatid ng amo ng kuya ko. Beth is the sister of my brother's boss. Next is pinsan ng blank. Pinsan is cousin, so pinsan ng blank means someone's cousin. Pinsan ng politiko ang teacher niya. Politiko is politician and teacher means teacher. Pinsan ng politiko ang teacher niya. Her teacher is a politician's cousin. Next, we have nobyo or nobya ng blank. Nobyo means boyfriend while nobya means girlfriend. Nobyo or nobya ng blank means Someone's boyfriend or girlfriend. Guapo ba ang nobyo ng tita mo? Guapo means handsome or good-looking. Tita is aunt and mo means your. Guapo ba ang nobyo ng tita mo? Is your aunt's boyfriend good-looking? Our next example is mga magulang ng blank, meaning someone's parents. Kilala mo ba ang mga magulang ng kaibigan mo? 
Kilala is to know, mga magulang is parents, and kaibigan means friend. Kilala mo ba ang mga magulang ng kaibigan mo? Do you know your friend's parents? The short noun is also used to connect the verb and the object that receives the action. Before we proceed to the examples, let's first differentiate the two phrases below. In English, we don't insert the word of between the verb watching and object TV. It's not watching of TV, right? We simply say watching TV. But in Tagalog, it's necessary to insert the short nang between the verb nanonood or watching and the object TV. So watching TV in Tagalog is nanonood ng TV. The same goes for play basketball. In Tagalog, it is maglaro ng basketball. Here are some more examples of this short nang rule. Uminom ng tubig. Uminom is to drink. Tubig is water. Uminom ng tubig. Drink water. Nagbabasa ng libro. Nagbabasa is reading. Libro is book. Nagbabasa ng libro. Reading a book. Nagbigay ng regalo. Nagbigay is gave. Regalo is gift. Nagbigay ng regalo. Gave a gift. Humingi ng tulong. Humingi is asked, tulong is help. Humingi ng tulong, asked for help. Magluluto ng aruskaldo. Magluluto means will cook and aruskaldo is like congee or soft boiled rice. Magluluto ng aruskaldo. Will cook aruskaldo. Nag-aabang ng jeep. Nag-aabang is waiting. Nag-aabang ng jeep. Waiting for a jeep. Naglilinis ng kotse. Naglilinis is cleaning and kotse is car. Naglilinis ng kotse, cleaning the car. Kumain ng tsokolate. Kumain is eight and tsokolate is chocolate. Kumain ng tsokolate, eight chocolates. We will now study the long nang. Remember, they are only different in spelling but in pronunciation, they are the same. Nang. The long nang is used like the conjunction when. For example, tulog ka na nang dumating ako dito kanina. Tulog ka na nang dumating ako dito kanina. Tulog means asleep. Na is already. Nang is when. Dumating is arrived. Dito means here and kanina is earlier. Tulog ka na nang dumating ako dito kanina. You were already asleep when I got here earlier. Next example is, Nagulat ako nang biglang sumigaw si Jewok. Nagulat ako nang biglang sumigaw si Jewok. Nagulat is a surprised or shocked. Bigla is suddenly and sumigaw means screamed. Nagulat ako nang biglang sumigaw si Jewok. I was shocked when Jewok suddenly screamed. The long nang is also used like the conjunction so or so that. Example, isuot mo yung salamin mo nang makakita ka. Isuot is to wear, mo is your, iyan means that or those, salamin is uh, eyeglasses, and makakita means to be able to see. Isuot mo yung salamin mo nang makakita ka. Wear your glasses so that you can see. Next, isulat mo nang hindi mo makalimutan. Isulat is to write. Hindi is not and makalimutan is to forget. Isulat mo nang hindi mo makalimutan. Write it down so that you will not forget. The long nang also denotes an adverb phrase. For example, matulog ka. Matulog is to sleep and ka means you. So matulog ka means you sleep or you go to sleep. But if you want to tell someone to sleep early, you should say matulog ka nang maaga. The long nang is placed before the adverb maaga. Matulog ka nang maaga. You sleep early. Next, si Adam ay tumawa. Tumawa means laughed. Si Adam ay tumawa. Adam laughed. To answer the question, how did Adam laugh? You should say, si Adam ay tumawa nang malakas. Malakas means loudly. Si Adam ay tumawa nang malakas. Adam laughed. Loudly. 
The long nang is also used as the combined na, meaning already, plus the linker ng. We have a separate video about linkers. Please check it out. Let's now study the first example. Gusto ko nang umuwi. Ayaw ko nang maggala. Gusto means want. Umuwi is to go home. Ayaw is do not like. Maggala is to stroll or to wander. Gusto ko nang umuwi. Ayaw ko nang maggala. I want to go home now. I don't want to stroll or wander anymore. Next, sobra nang laki ng problema ni Bobby. Sobra is too much, laki is big, and problema means problem. Sobra nang laki ng problema ni Bobby. Bobby's problem is too big now. The long nang is also used in repeated words for emphasis or continuity. For example, the word iyak means cry. To emphasize that someone doesn't stop crying, repeat iyak plus the long nang. Iyak nang iyak. As in the example, iyak nang iyak si Johnny. I don't know what made Johnny sad, but he doesn't stop crying. Iyak nang iyak. The same goes for the next example. Ubo nang ubo si Malik. The word ubo means cough, but the phrase ubo nang ubo is like non-stop coughing. Ubo nang ubo si Malik. Malik keeps on coughing. The long nang is the equivalent of the English preposition of time at. It is also used with the parts of the day. For example, magkita tayo sa mall ng alas 7. Magkita is to meet, tayo is us, alas 7 means 7 o'clock. Magkita tayo sa mall ng alas 7. Let's meet at the mall at 7 o'clock. Next, magbowling tayo bukas ng hapon. Magbowling is to go bowling. Bukas is tomorrow and hapon is afternoon. Magbowling tayo bukas ng hapon. Let's go bowling tomorrow afternoon. If both clock time and part of the day are in one phrase or sentence, the long nang goes with the clock time. But again, don't stress yourself out over this because like what I've said earlier, the short and the long nang are pronounced the same. Let's study the examples just to know how to write them properly. Mamalengke kayo ng alas 4 ng hapon. The word mamalengke means to go to the market and shop for something. Kayo means uh, the plural you. Alas 4 is 4 o'clock and hapon is afternoon. The clock time here is obviously alas 4 and the part of the day is hapon. So the long nang goes with alas 4. Mamalengke kayo ng alas 4 ng hapon. Go to the market at 4 in the afternoon. Our last example is, mag-aral ka ng alas ocho ng gabi. Mag-aral is to study, ka is you, alas ocho is eight o'clock, and gabi means evening. Mag-aral ka ng alas ocho ng gabi. You study at eight in the evening or at eight p.m. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Salamat po!